Good. Okay, so we're going to do the second set of foramina now, and uh, we're going to start uh, we're doing these alphabetically. We've got the lacrimal. Lacrimal is right there where the stick is going in. That is a canal, and tear ducts go through that. Uh, there is no nerve passing through the lacrimal. We have next foramen magnum. Foramen magnum, Tom Selleck's foramen from foramen magnum PI, uh, part of the occipital bone. Uh, we have the spinal accessory nerve entering the internal, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, no, the vertebral artery entering and the med uh, medulla oblongata leaving the skull by way of that opening. Then we have the mandibular foramen. A mandibular frame, I'm going to pull this mandible off because I think we'll be able to see it better. Mandibular frame is right here going in on the uh, medial side of the uh, ramus of the mandible and that's where the mandibular nerve goes through, V3. Then we have mental frame. Mental frame is out here on the body of the mandible and that's where the mandibular nerve exits from the mandible and comes out onto the face. Then we have the mental foramen. Oh, I just did the mental foramen. Then we have the optic canal. Now the optic canal has appreciable depth. And if you look into the um, orbit, you can see there's an opening right there. And if you look into the cranium when it comes back, if I put a stick in the other way, you'd see they would crisscross. This is how the nerves go through. So that's the optic canal part of the sphenoid bone. Then we have foramen ovale. I'm going to show you a foramen ovale on this. This is a sphenoid bone. Notice how it looks a little bit like gizmo, right? The whatever he was. So foramen ovale is oval. It's right there. Okay. And to give you um, how this fits into the skull, this this is the foramen ovale right here. So that's how the sphenoid bone is oriented inside of the skull. The foramen ovale is where the mandibular nerve leaves the skull. Then we have foramen rotundum, and foramen rotundum is right there. And foramen rotundum is round, as you might expect, and that's where the maxillary nerve, V2, leaves the skull, or leaves the cranium. And we can see foramen rotundum right there. Okay, there's a round opening right there. Then we have stylomastoid foramen. The stylomastoid foramen is between the styloid process and the mastoid process, right here. And that's where the facial nerve exits from the skull. We have a superior orbital fissure. And a superior orbital fissure is kind of tough to see. It's right there, looking into the orbit on the superior portion. It's all in the sphenoid bone, and uh, we have four nerves going through there. Three, cranial nerve three, four, V1, and six. And we have the supraorbital notch on this side and the supraorbital foramen on this side. Sometimes you'll have a skull with two notches, sometimes you'll have two foramina, sometimes there'll be one of each like this skull. So it doesn't really matter. That's where the ophthalmic nerve comes out onto the face and that's part of the frontal bone. And that's it for the foramen.